Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month and that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store for this month. Perhaps the biggest challenge facing investors in the next few years will be trying to figure out whether Fed printing of money and Congress's record-breaking deficits will mean superior performance by inflation-sensitive assets or whether debt collapse will result in deflation where good quality bonds will be the investment choice of the day. This chart represents the ultimate inflation-deflation indicator, the ratio between commodities, the CRB spot raw industrials, and bonds, 20-year governments. In the past, it's been possible to monitor this oscillator in the bottom window and use reversals in conjunction with trend line breaks to trigger secular reversal signals in this inflation-deflation battle. These are the bullish signals. And here are a couple of bearish ones. This momentum sell signal was the only failed signal in the 150 years of history. If we now clear the decks, you can see that last year the ratio fell back to its 1946-2010 mega secular uptrend line, but it did not decisively break through. Since then we've seen a sharp rally that's pushed the price back to resistance in the form of the 1980-2010 green trend line. That resistance is really the neckline of a giant potential reverse head and shoulders pattern. Momentum is still bullish, but not overextended by historical standards, so there are strong odds on this 20-year consolidation pattern being completed. A valid breakout would mean a significant extension to the inflationary picture, higher prices and bond yields for years to come. To get a better feel, let's look at the two components. Here are the yields for 20-year government bonds. The momentum this time is a 240-month or 20-year rate of change. And here is a similar trend line analysis that we saw in the previous chart. Currently, the rate of change is right at a potential breakout point, meaning higher potential yields. Also, the yield itself is just below this line and I estimate a reading of 5.1% will be required for a decisive signal. Now for commodities. Here you can see that the secular uptrend line is intact after a false downside breakout late in the last century. Moreover, the price bounced off this support line and the momentum in the bottom panel is bullish but not overextended. Looks like commodities are headed higher over the next few years. Now for a final look at the ratio, where you can see that the rally of last year was extremely sharp. That offers the possibility that the ratio may well hesitate at or below current levels and experience some consolidation. However, I fully expect it to push through, whether now or later. This view would change if the momentum indicator peaks and the ratio breaks below the 1946-2010 uptrend line. But that doesn't seem likely at the moment. enjoyed this chart of the month, you may want to go to pring.com and download a free sample of our intermarket review. A monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.